what is up guys it's me vt and today we are going to see how you can play crunker on a low end pc like i do so let's get into it yeah so i got this idea from one of my subscribers like you will be able to see his comment right now and so i got to tell you some things before so if you play on google chrome so you see this chrome right here do not do that chrome is the worst i mean the worst browser to actually play crunker because it gives lot less fps than you can imagine because if you're like if your laptop or your pc it has a potential of 100 fps uh, it actually gives like 50 fps or something like that so it's really low so what i would recommend you is to go with brave so brave is another browser it's really amazing so you get nice fps so let me hop into the game and show you how i get like what is the rate at which i play so as you see it's really smooth you can barely tell the difference so like to play crunker.io really you know well or if you uh, like if you want to play crunker.io you need little bit of fps not that much so like 60 fps or 50 or 48 something like that 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 will be fine so I don't know how much I'm playing right now like it will be almost near some 50 or 60 fps so like so I'm going to tell you right now how you can you know get high fps so first what I'll do is go to escape and let me tell you about the browser brave so brave is just like chrome but it's better than chrome you can say like a bootleg of chrome or something like that so like it's better than chrome uh, so how to download it i leave a link in the description so you can go and just go and like download it so what i'm going to do is go and type brave so as you can see a brave browser secure fast private whatever is written there so all you need to do is come here download for this if you are if you have mac os you can click over here if you are linux you can click over here you have 32 bit windows you can click over here but i have a 64 bit windows so i would go and click over here so you see this is how the browser looks like it's really nice browser and another uh, platform on where you can play crunker is the official client of the crunker so like as you see here this little download icon over here you click on that so as it shows you windows installer mac os installer linux installer it's like if you got any of these platforms you can just go and ahead and click on it so it'll just download for you but i wouldn't do that because i use brave right now so and you can also use the C client. So C client is uh, you can't download it through the browser. So you need to go and join the Discord, and from there you will you can download it. There'll be a link there. So I'll leave the link of that Discord server too in the description. And you can also use MTZ. So MTZ is what most people use. Uh, it's like uh, it's also a fan made thing. So like fan made uh, client you can say so as uh, as it's a fan made client so you, that also requires you to join the discord server i'll be leaving that also in the link below so as uh, so about the fps so actually what the fps is capped at is your refresh rate of your monitor so like i don't know what my refresh rate is it'll be near somewhere near uh, 60 or something but yeah the main thing which you have to disable here is go and type frame cap 
so as you see a frame cap so my frame cap is at zero so what this does is actually like you can cap your frame so like if i want if i don't want my computer to go above 60 fps i would cap it at 60 fps so as you see here it's at 60 fps so my computer will not go beyond that but if i want unlimited fps so what would i do is cap it at zero so now i have unlimited fps and what else you can do is you can go and disable all the you know things which are not basically required so uh, you know things uh, like the more things you add into a something it the more fps it eats uh, let's go and render so this is where you need to be the most you know like okay so in resolution you can if you have like a chromebook or something like that you can cap it at some uh, you know see like if i put it at 0 0.1 you can see it's really bad right now see how glitch like weird it looks but you if you put it at 0 0.5 it doesn't look that bad so let me hop into the game right now see it's not that bad you can almost see like not so much so you as you can see here it's not that visible it's real blurry i guess yeah it's a little bit blurry so you know if you have really bad pc then you can go with this i usually keep it at one so you know it doesn't eat lot of fps and you see my gameplay is not that bad too so you see it's really nice here yeah so let me go and go through everything so as you can see i have turned off my map details so details is like it's useless unless you have a good pc so like i disabled the see i i turned it on nothing happened turned it off nothing happened so it's it's just basically just takes away your fps so don't do that particles switch it off shadows switch it off why would you need shadows soft shadows switch it off high resolution you don't need that dynamic shadows see all these stuff these are like useless stuff it it simply eats up your fps by a lot and you know i just turned off sniper flap muzzle flaps your trails bullet trails is on because you need that to see from where the bullets are coming texture animation i turned it on because my pc is not that bad but you can turn it off like you know the grass and stuff like that those move in game so uh it's not a big deal objects animation i turned that off so like yeah that is it and you know you go in game it's like the normal stuff yeah so that's one way where you can no the second way where you can reduce like increase the fps so let's get into the third way so in the third way what you have to do is you have to first pin brave to your you know your taskbar here down here okay so this method is i picked it up from ucd undercover dudes you should know him if you play kranka so please go subscribe to him is really underrated please go and subscribe to him and yeah so what you need to do here is right click on brave right so first you gotta pin this to taskbar so like here you go pin to taskbar unpin from taskbar so here if you have not pinned it it will be shown pin to taskbar so you need to go and pin it then go on brave here right click then on this brave again right click and click on properties so you see these are the properties so here it looks complicated i know this part looks complicated but it's not that complicated so for you if you have downloaded brave for you it might be shown only till here so you see this part might be shown now this little part here this this dash dash disable frame rate limit so this thing you need to type it or you can just copy and paste it there so what you need to do is like let me write this again so let me just uh, 
backspace backspace yeah so i'm there so as you can see i'm i didn't do anything there just uh, little bit so what you need to do after that is press space after space you need to write you need to put two dashes so like dash dash and then this able dash frame dash rate dash limit all you need to do is that and then you just need to click apply and okay so that also you know helps a lot i have witnessed it i like used it uh, thanks to ucd for this i really got a lot of you know fps from this my fps just boosted like boom so like it was amazing really another thing like i would like to tell this is the bonus of this video all right so since you get less fps you might need to you know like so there will be some problem while slide hopping so all you need to go here and you should write just fps see non fps sliding so like if i turn that off now you see if i slide hop right it's it's not that accurate see it's 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 little bit laggy and it doesn't like if i want to turn at this point you see i went i i actually like went on the ground over here but i like slided all the way here so it's not that accurate so let me just uh, turn my non fps base sliding on so now you see now it will be a lot more accurate you see it just takes me where i want to go it's really helpful if you want to do good slide hopping and like be really slick and go from here there just go and shoot around you know and uh, yeah so that's it for the video and if you like what i make and what i do here so please subscribe to my channel please leave a like on this video and comment down if you got more fps and stuff like that and uh, if you improved in a gameplay because i improved a lot after this and and uh, i think i didn't tell you like i got i just unboxed this amazing fraternity gun yesterday i guess and uh, it's a legend wait it's a relic yeah so it's a relic you see it's a relic and today i unboxed this hellhound and yesterday i, I unboxed the uh, head hunt and i have recently been able to log in into my account so like for um 15 days solid i was not able to log in into my account like that was so horrible i used to play as guest people used to just kick me out and ban me and stuff they used to think i'm hacking yeah so you know what to do go and subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video comment if this worked for you and yeah so see you in the next video bye bye